Hey everyone, so I got a request to do um, a tutorial on these two waffles. So I have a Minnie Mouse waffle with some strawberry, and I have a Hello Kitty waffle. So these are both really, really easy to make. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Alright, so you want to start off with some clay, like some tan colored clay, uh, or like a light brown. And I'm just rolling it into a ball. And I'm going to start off with a ball. It's kind of hard for me to do this in front of the camera, and I'm really sorry about my nails. I have like the worst nails ever. And I'm just kind of smoosh the ball down a little bit. <laughs> then we're going to make the ears, which you want to be like smaller than you'd expect because when you use the waffle mold, it's going to smoosh them out a lot. So, sorry, <laughs> my hands are in the way. Um, so when you smoosh it out, you want them to be kind of small. So I'll zoom in on this for you. My clay's a little bit dirty, but you won't be able to really tell once I get the pastels and everything. Since my hands have like lint on them probably. Alright, so I'm gonna I have this waffle mold. Sorry. Um there's a bunch of tutorials on it, and mine's kinda dirty. But it's basically just made out of scrap clay. There's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube that'll teach you how to do it. And basically the first thing you want to do is spray it with water. So I have like a little spray bottle. And then I'm going to take it and put it on top. And I use my roller just to add like an even pressure, I guess. And then you have this waffle. And this is not as good as this one, obviously. I took a bit more time on that one. But um, for demonstration purposes, it'll work. So, this is our waffle. Fix it up a little bit. And you can see, like, already, there's really good detail for the mold. It looks like a real waffle. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some chalk pastels. And these were, like, I think about $10 for all of these. So it's like this whole bunch. These are about $10 at Michael's. They last forever, so I'm just going to scrape some brown off and use the pastel powder to kind of like make the edges look cooked and add some detail. Sorry, I'm like nasty ways you're going to scrap clean the way. So yeah, I'm just going to go in with like a paintbrush and... Alright, so once that's done, I'm going to take a toothbrush, and this is just like one of those free toothbrushes I got at the dentist. That I don't use because it's crappy. And I'm gonna kind of texture the edges a bit. So just like press it in the edges and it'll um, make them nice and textured. So it'll look like real waffle. And then again, um, after I texture the edges, I'm just gonna go in with like a little bit more pastel. just to make it look nice and cooked. And if you want to, you can um, you can use two of these molds and you can press them together like a sandwich so you can make both sides uh, textured, but I'm not really going to do that right now because it would just take too long, so yeah, but you can always do that if you want to. And so uh, the way I usually keep my hands clean, by the way, is I have like a ball of scrap clay and it's really soft and I just like roll it on my hands and like and stuff and it'll like pick up all the dust that this clay would pick up so it helps keeping your hands clean. Alright so next for the Minnie Mouse waffle we're gonna make the bow and it's really easy like basically just take some red clay this might actually be too much um so take some red clay and like roll it up into a ball and then you want three separate little balls so you have one or actually no I did this bow differently It's really easy to do. Basically, I just have like a ball of red clay right here, and I'm gonna roll it up and flatten it out a little bit. And then I have like a, you can use like a toothpick or whatever, but I have this little tool, and I'm just gonna press in the sides. Um, 
Well, I guess it's toothpick. I'll, I'll take a toothpick and I'm gonna make little indents. translucent liquid sculpey because you can like I have like all my colors for like sauces and stuff mixed up in here and I can just like open it I don't have to like mix a new batch and it saves a lot of stuff so yeah and these were like two dollars at Michael's for like two sets of these so it's a really good deal all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drizzle some syrup on here and it doesn't really matter how you do it um you know just try and make it look like as realistic as possible. So I don't know when I have waffles, I have like lots of syrup. So there's your strawberry syrup. And then when you bake it, it'll turn clear. And what I did for this one, so like the difference with this one is uh, I added a little dollop of silicon for whipped cream and I just added some slices of strawberry cane when I took it out of the oven. And you can do that too. And as you can see, I didn't texture the back on this one, but yeah, you want to avoid having the eye pin poke through the back. So yeah, when you bake this, it'll come out looking like this, and if you want to, um, I keep meaning to, I'm going to add some little polka dots to the bow, because Minnie has a polka dot bow, and yeah. It's really easy, and for the Hello Kitty one, all I did was uh, make the ears more pointy, like point them sort of, and then... I kind of flattened out the bottom of the waffle, and you can do all of this just by like pinching and squeezing once you already did the mold. And then I added brown syrup and a little tiny slice of yellow clay for butter. But the bow is almost the same, it's just a little bit more rounded. So they're both basically the same thing, and they're really easy to make, and they turn out really, really cute. So I hope you guys have fun, and comment, rate, and subscribe below. Thank you guys!